Hey, welcome back. A brand new production for the Greenville Theater. Max Quinlan is with us to talk about uh, a, a production that I saw as a movie uh, that yes. was fabulous. Max, welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing very well. Good. What, what's coming to the stage? Yes, so uh, coming up actually this weekend, we are mm -hmm. opening a play for this year. Uh, it is called Souvenir, which is based on the real fantastic life of Florence Foster Jenkins. And as you just said, there was a great movie that came out just a few years ago, right. starring Meryl Streep in the title role. Well, it's an odd uh, odd piece. You know, sometimes you think Hollywood runs out of stuff to make movies out of. That's true, you know that's true, and yes. Then, then when they can't think of anything, they just do another version of it over right. and over again. Right. But th this was one heck of a great movie. And talk, talk about the play. And, uh, Show us some pictures here. Yeah, so the, the movie was fantastic, mm -hmm. and I think that her life is one that is just so fascinating and amazing. You know, she was somebody who lived her life very fully and beautifully mm -hmm. and honestly, and she loved music so much that she just believed that she could sing, yeah. but she really couldn't. <laughs> um, and so the play kind of talks a lot about, you know, what it is to be a singer, what it is to be a lover of the arts and mm -hmm. a supporter of the arts, which is what she was, and she brought a lot of joy to people, even though she's quoted as being the worst singer of all time. <laughs> well, and, and, yeah, and again, she, I guess, was tone deaf because she didn't hear how yes. badly she did sing. That's right, uh, that's right. But uh, Meryl Streep, uh, being in the movie, uh, was in real life a, a good singer. Yes. I don't know how good, but she could right. sing in tune. Right. But uh, again, she had to work hard just to not be able to sing real, Absolutely. real well for the movie. Right? And I think that's one of the tricky things about the show and about playing a role like that. You would think, oh, anyone who can't sing could just play that part, but mm -hmm. it takes a lot of skill yeah, yeah. to sing off key. Well, I, but there was money. She was a socialite, mm -hmm. uh, right, in That's New right. York City. That's right, in the so early 1900s. Right. Yes. Tell us more about the plot. It, yeah, it so the plot, a play. it's a great play, and the plot of the show, um, it, we actually tell the story through her, um, the person that she worked with, who was her piano player. His name is Cosme, and he was a writer of sorts and also was taught music lessons, and the two of them formed this friendship and mm -hmm. bond and relationship mm -hmm. that spanned over years and expanded them from being people who did cabarets to going all the way to Carnegie Hall. She did so sing the, in Carnegie Hall. Yes, the biggest stage there is in New York City. Well, so. I, guess, I guess so. Yes. And who plays the lead in your play? Who, so Myra Green is our local actress who is playing the role, uh, and she is terrific, and her accompanist is Josh, and they're both so terrific together. They actually have known one another uh -huh. for a very long time, yeah, so yeah. that chemistry is fantastic because it's really a story about friendship as well. Yeah, well, it's a good run. It starts the 6th, right? And that's, that's right. I guess this Friday or Saturday? Yes, this, so it's coming up uh, this weekend. So we uh, run April 6th through the 16th. So okay. we have two weekends of shows. Okay, so. and there's some matinees, I think. I that's it. right, yes. Yeah, so we have some matinee performances on Saturdays. Uh, we're not doing a show on Easter Sunday, but that well, following Sunday, of course, we will be back. That might be hard to pull off. That's right. <laughs> Greenville Theater. Uh, what, how many, what, you, you guys have been uh, producing plays for what, 100 years? 75, 97 years. years. Okay. 97 years. Years, so we're coming close to 100, which is amazing. That is amazing. I still can't, it's hard not to say little. I know well, it, I'm so yes. used to Greenville Little Theater. But That's right. Know, That's same right. crowd, just bigger. That's right. So we call it Greenville Theater. Greenville Where are Theater. you located? I know we can buy tickets online. That's right. Yeah, you can buy tickets online, but you can also come and visit us. We mm -hmm. are actually on Heritage Green, which is the arts oh, cultural yeah. center, really, sure. just off of downtown. We're right by the library and the Children's Museum, so a great spot to uh, spend a whole day, really. And there, there's your website right there. We'll That's right. You want, you want to plug something after this? we got a second or two. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Souvenir is our next coming play, and then right after that, we're closing out season 97 with the musical. Shrek, uh, which oh. we'll be playing for the whole month of June. So we're very excited for that one. It's a great show to bring the entire family and a great opportunity to introduce someone new and young to the theater yeah, for it, the first time. It's hard time. being green, according to It Tony. is. It is. You bought up all the green makeup in town. That's about, right. That's Shrek. right. We have yeah. all of it. Well, Max, thank you, buddy. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you for having me, Jack. Max Quinn.